What's going on you guys? This is Clayster bringing you guys a YouTube video. This one right here is one that one of my viewers has been requesting for quite some time now. So shout out to Adrian for this one. Uh, I'm going to actually have my Nightbot link this in my stream whenever people ask me about the camos that I use. And I'm just going to run you through the paint jobs and the gunsmith options that I do to get the camos that I do on my gun. There's nothing really too fancy. It's going to be a pretty short video because I don't do anything that fancy. But it's really helpful for some people to see this instead of for me to just explain it. So uh, you go to start and you go to paint shop and all of the camos that I have are really you know uh, black market camos I think is what it's called uh, if you look at a lot of the camos that I do end up having uh, there's just like I have ice for the M8 uh, for the VMP I have haptic uh, I also have a ton of other ones for the VMP I've opened a ton of supply drops uh, I have a bunch for the M8 as well, so a lot of these camos you can only get from the black market. Uh, Ice is my favorite one currently, uh, then second one is Haptic. That is what this video is going to be focused on because it's the only two camos that I really use. I mean, sometimes uh, I'll throw on, you know, Snow Job on my L car, and I got uh, a couple more for the L car too that, you know, Prestige, Storm, Wartorn. Couple legendaries, swindler, stuff like that. So sometimes, but nothing really looks good on the L car, so I don't mess with it too much. Uh, mainly, it's my main gun. See, as you can see there, that's one of my camos. Uh, so you go into the paint shop, and you go to your M8. I'll start off with the M8. So you go to your M8, and you create a new paint job, right? And I use uh, the pattern for the kind of uh, striped camo that I have, the tiger camo that I have. I go down in my patterns and I find this one right here, Tiger Camo. And now what you're going to do is you're going to stretch it fully and see you can just, just regularly stretch it on a fixed scale but it doesn't really matter. Sometimes I'll free scale it with right, uh, right 3 and I'll make it kind of like bigger like this to give it a little more like waves in it or something like that. So like that, I, think, I feel like that wave pattern is good. You know, you, sometimes you can flip it to get a, another wave pattern on the other side. Uh, it's just like a nice little pattern that uh, gives you some color on the gun. Uh, so then you, you make that pattern and then you use your right bumper when you're clicked onto it and you change the opacity down to about 68% uh, is what I believe it is. Uh, let me go check and make sure. Yeah, yeah this one's at 80%. So uh, when I do the jungle ones like this, I usually keep it around 80 just to make sure uh, it gives a bold contrast on the camos because there is some negative space, some space in between the lines that your camo will shine through. So I kind of wanted it to stick out more, uh, but I also wanted the camos to shine through a little bit and give it that kind of glossy feel. So you change it to 80% opacity. You can see that on the right side of your screen. And then you just go to the color picker and pick your favorite color. Sometimes, uh, you know, I, I come into the gradient and I'll pick a color that I really like and I'll mess around with with it quite a while uh, just to get uh, something that I really really like and this is probably the most important part I feel like because a lot of these colors don't go well with uh, the ice camo or the haptic camo but depending on what camo you use you can change the colors up and I've noticed that like reds and blacks and stuff are like really deep deep colors show up really well on uh, on the ice camo and whatnot so then you just Paste that onto the gun, and now you have uh, an 80% opacity thing. You hit the middle button uh, to copy this to your clipboard. I paste it on the top of the gun just because why not. Uh, you could mess around with the top of the gun as well with the thing to get, as I said, to get it a little more wavy uh, and get a little more uh, lines on your gun and whatnot. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I just kind of lazy and copy it. But you do want to copy your one side to the other side so that that at least matches up. Uh, you could change it theoretically, but I like to just match it up. So then, there you go, you got your camo for your jungle timer one, or your jungle tiger one. You save that, and then you go into the gunsmith, go to your assault rifles, go to your M8, and I just create a variant uh, every time I make a new a new camo, because it makes it easier when you're switching classes all the time, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you name it. Uh, I actually make my class just like a basic one. Uh, I don't put the three attachments on it, I just put quick draw on stock, because then I can put long barrel and perk, or uh, primary gunfighter on if I want when I do change it. And then I go to my new paint job, and then I just choose a camo, slide over to black market, and then you put ice on. And so then there's how you get your camo, and then every time you save it, every time you go to create a class, uh, say I want to put on this M8, you go to your M8, and there's there's a variant right there. And so that's uh, how you do the tiger one. If you want to do just a blank color like some of my other ones, uh, I've been using the Tiger one a lot on a lot of my guns, but uh, the blank colors like this are also really nice and really cool to see. Uh, this one didn't work out too well. I didn't really like that one. Uh, I also, it was one of the carbon fiber ones, but see this black on the, uh, on the ice looks really nice. The white looks kind of weird. 
I was scribbling around doing some weird stuff, but I found that these two are probably the best looking ones. Uh, so to make this kind of red inside the ice colored uh, camo, you go back to your paint shop, uh, go to your M8, create a new one, and then what I did is I took the, a, a, I'll just make it for you guys, I'll just make it for you guys. You just take a square, any square you can find, I just use this round square, it doesn't matter what kind of square you need, you just need something that can fill up the whole thing. And you can free scale it all the way big, as big as you want, so it just fills up the whole gun. And then you go to Material Picker, you hit Y, and then I changed it to uh, this like grayish, grayish thing, I guess. I don't know what it is, uh, whatever this color is. And then I don't know if this actually helps or not, but uh, I feel like it does give it a little like cooler color almost. And then this is the one that I turn all the way down to about 78% is what I believe it was. I'll check on that for you guys. Yeah, 78% is what uh, I changed the opacity to. And then you just copy that, place it to the front, place it to the side. Save that. Then you, as before, you go to your gunsmith, slide over to the Manowar or the M8, uh, create a new variant, do all your stuff. Once you confirm everything, putting on your attachments, whatever you want, go over to your paint job, slide it on. And then go over to Black Market, put on Ice Camo, and there you go. You got red inside your ice on your M8. Yeah, guys, so that's pretty much the only things that I do that are special. Uh, I actually don't create a, a variant for the Vesper. Uh, but if you guys do want to see my paint shop uh, for the VMP, it's the same thing. You just pull a full square over top of it. Uh, and just, you know, turn the opacity down. I, tur I actually think I left the opacity... Uh, yeah, lower than on the M8. I put it to 76 on the VMP just because the VMP, the cameras don't really show up too well on it, and it's really weird. Uh, but same thing with the Vesper guys. You just do the round square, pull it all the way open, and you do the, the Tiger stuff on it just to get a thing on it, or to get the uh, stripes on it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed how to make these camos, and I hope to see you guys using my camos in your next videos and gameplays. Much love, everyone. Have a great rest of your morning, evening, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.